Okay, that's just a preview of what this battle's uh, this dungeon's going to be like. So, there is a dungeon in the sand cave section that we need to go to. I don't think I can land there. No. Naturally. A Mirage Dragon! I don't remember what they were like. Probably not fun. Oh, I should probably heal. I keep doing that. Three? Really? You, you only did three? How about you take some Thwax from Domino and Edward? What is it with Edward doing damage? That doesn't make sense to me. Oh, hey, look. Edward does more damage. Or, Domino does more damage now. Or is that Edward? I'm pretty sure that was Domino. Anyway, let's go back. I thought I actually... That's right. I was going to rest in Bandor and decided that Zeal was actually cheaper anyway. So I might as well rest in Zeal, and that was stupid. Helps if I actually rest to do that. Nope, Zeal was the expensive one. Oh well. That's just gonna get me in a bunch of random medals. Absolute southernmost point that I can save at. I get into a random battle before hitting there anyway. What am I fighting? Minotaur Lord. Meh. Alright! The most annoying dungeon in any RPG. And I do mean any. One, they have liches. They constantly throw liches at you, so you are constantly dealing with instant death. Ah, oh, good. They only attack this time. Let's see where I encounter the first of the annoying. There we go. So, the heck was that? That must have been Boo. So, um, the first thing that you deal with when it comes to this is these faces. These are invisible blocks to your path. You won't see them until you run into them. The two way, so it doesn't matter what way you end up running into them, you're always going to see them. See, remember when I said that there were multiple types of bats? These were the other types of bats. I don't know why they're in this dungeon. They are. They could summon each other. That's really the only thing that they do. They're not even that difficult to deal with. I think you have a lot of XP, too. I used to grind like this. Bad F. See if we get up to G. I doubt it. Probably dead before it summons, yeah. Holy Light 4! Yay! And Lorelei levels up, too. Lorelei doesn't seem to be all that great. I mean, she's still better than Samson, but that's, you know, a very low bar. No, I think I'm actually going to use magic first this time. Uh, she does have a lot of hit points now, at least. Uh, let's see. Lorelei is at 164, 166. Wop, 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 wop. Undead knights are actually pretty strong, if I remember right. They can do uh, attack two, I want to say. Young dragons, on the other hand, not so useful. They're great. Not that big a deal to fight. So, these shadows. These are the spots that you will find invisible holes that will drop down to. 
these are the only hints that you have in the game as to where these holes are. That's it. Unfortunately, that doesn't really help because the rooms aren't identically sized or anything like that, so you're not quite sure where anything is at, ever. It's obnoxious. Just like liches. Liches get stitches! And Domino can take another hit. Or, Edward, not Domino. See all the holes? So unless if you were to measure everything step by step away from the um, entrance, you're probably not going to be able to do much with it. Ah, Edward's paralyzed. Not a big deal. And Edward can use some more healing. Here we go. So. See, I'm, I decided I'm just going to use a walkthrough because I can't deal with this dungeon otherwise. One, two. I'm probably still going to screw it up because of all the random battles in here. This has the second highest random encounter rate of the game, if I remember right. Edward leveled up. Two, three, four. That can't be right. It has to be here. Hole. See, that's the type of thing you have to deal with. Oy. You grind a lot in here by virtue of just how obnoxious this dungeon is. I think necromancers are also capable of doing instant death, just for fun. Or were they just really powerful mages? I can't remember now. I mean, that's just obnoxious. At least they've graduated from herb to healing herb, but I don't think it matters too much. So, okay, walk south to the wall, and four steps, oh, it's east. One, two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, one, one, two, three, then go southwest. Much easier to deal with that way. Oh, that was easy. And stairs to the next floor. South, open the treasure chest. I can do that. Mystic Dagger! It's like a dagger, but mystical. Yeah, mystic. I'm all mystic and crap. Okay. <sighs> Stupid holes. Okay. At least I'm high enough level where the liches aren't that nasty, because I can kill them fast enough. As long as I don't have, like, a battle of five liches or something. Watch me just go in, edit this, and have, like, the, um, dramatic irony symbol appear on top of the screen or something like that. Okay, so, from the stairs, east past the lake, follow the path north. Uh, to look west path, west the narrow path, past the narrow path that leads south. Don't care, die in a fire. Really, young dragons just have a lot of defense and nothing else. Pass that path. 
walking west along the southern wall until I reach the treasure chest. Follow it north to the stairs. Oh, that's right. Dead Arbor attack twice. That's what it is. Hey, hey screw it. Basically, in this, you need to hug walls. Alright! Next floor! Walk south until I reach a narrow path leading south. Immediately stop once the path widens more than one space, then walk west to the lake. Okay, here, west to the lake. South. And immediately follow the path southeast. End of the path, you'll find a treasure chest. Got it. Eh, easy, easy. Nobody called for help. Sweet. Edward, yet again, is the only one injured. Seriously, Eddie? He's up to 50 hit points. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Path south and east. Ah! Oh, YouTube finally finished. Yeah, okay. Which one was the one that actually finished uploading? Watch it be like the other one. Nope, okay. Undead Lectors! Those guys cast, um, Holy Light and Illusion. I don't care about Illusion, to be honest. Annoying. Source of Vitality. Let's go ahead and just use it. Um, Edward. Yeah, gotta be on Edward. Yes. Totally worth it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Got the Source of Vitality. Walk west a few steps, then north to the wall. Clockwise around the blacked out area. While hugging the wall until you come back toward the treasure chest you just opened. Okay. No one's in death, please. Good. Ow! Give Edward all of his hit points. Okay, uh, do 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 do. Oh, yeah, until I come to the treasure chest. So, yeah, I'm hugging this for a while. I'm hugging it. Did it, did it, did it. Then follow the path to east. Okay. Ow! Stupid Titan. And head east. Which will then fork with one path going north, one path going south. Head north. <clears throat> until you run into the stone heads that pop out of the ground. Or into random battles. Repeatedly. Oh crap! Whew! That's the instant death spell, by the way. Area of effect instant death. Yeah, I'm probably okay. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and use an ocarina. Okay. Uh, let's see, till north south. 
Oh yeah, until I run into stone heads. Those stone heads. Uh, do 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 do. Walk east, follow the path south until you reach the lake, where the path will split again. Or run into even more random battles. Screw you all. Actually, I think armor is weak against thunder. Everything's weak against thunder. Hush me! Die! Domino leveled up, yay! And he learned to confusion too! Okay, so, reach the lake, split again, by going east and then turn south, okay. Fork into a path leading south and the other west, follow it west, till you reach the stairs. All of that, just to get to this. How many floors do I have? We're on floor three and we've got six floors. Keep in mind, at any time, you can start falling, and you can potentially fall all the way down. I believe there's one column that you just constantly fall. And I'm okay for now. Okay. Floor four. Follow the path south until you reach a lake. I can do that. Let me just scroll this up. I apologize if me following a walkthrough is not as interesting, but... This would be a four-hour recording otherwise. I am not joking. Okay, reach a lake. East past the lake and follow the path heading southeast. Okay. Ah! Edward needs healing. No, not Dom. Get him back up to 40. And head southeast. Okay. Run into some stone hands. Appear to be blocking your way. Those. This room to the south for you to walk by them. Continue to follow this path and it'll open up to a room that has two paths to the north. Two paths to the north. Got it. Uh, let's see. Wrong floor. Northwest. You'll eventually come to another intersection. Then head north. Undead knights, don't care. And they hit hard, but meh. Yeah, I'm quite because it's probably the best one to use. Eh, that's correct. Bow up! And head north. Until I hit it into a bunch of stone heads. Simply I walk around them. Hug the western wall as you walk north. Wow. That hug wasn't needed, but that's okay. The rest of it was. Okay. These dead armor are gonna stay dead. So much better that I'm high level. I've tried going through here before where after I reached Quamdar is when I started going around to the optional stuff. That was a terrible idea. Four five. Walk to the rock. East to the wall. Then south to the wall. Three steps east. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, crap. Damn it! 360 controller screwed up. This is the problem with this dungeon! Now 
Now I have to find my way again. Seriously, I was actually mostly finished through the freaking dungeon! I'm just doing this off of memory, and repeatedly saving. Yeah, Necromancer needs to go die in a Ah, crap. So much harder when I didn't have the half damage on magic. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Bow oh, up! Well. What the? Damn it, game! Let's try this again! Hug wall. That part I don't need to hug. Okay. Floor five. Sus to the wall. East to the wall. Sus to the wall. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. This time the 360 controller didn't stick. Yay! West to the wall. Sad along the wall until you're just past the three walks standing out of the ground to the west. There. Just past. Okay. Walk west past the regular walks and rock that head that pops out of the ground. Oh, Edward's really badly hurt. I should probably have done something about that. That works. Okay. Um, north until I reach a treasure chest. Shadow Gee! Hey, bet that's dark, evil stuff. Let's find out. There's no way in hell it's not. Okay! So, do 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 do. I'll face along the path, directly below the regular southernmost rocks and the rock heads that are pop below them. Okay. Fast, slow down. And it's in game slow down, not my computer. That's weird. Okay. Heading back. Okay. <laughs> Directly below the regular southernmost rocks and the rock heads that have popped up beside them. Walk directly east past the lakes until you reach the wall. Wall! Battle! No. And he leveled up again. Okay. Wall. And follow the path north until you first see the boundary of a lake. That. Damn it. At least I generally know where I'm at. See, I'm even following an FAQ and I keep hitting holes. Oh, Edward's hurt again. Edward's always hurt. If only I can give him more defense. I guess I could, actually. Who actually has McWedka as the Ring of Defense, eh? And Edward, hand the Ice Ring to McWedka. There. It'll help marginally. <clears throat> Seriously, it sounds like somebody in Japanese literally go, Hua! Stupid. Okay.
Domino's getting damn strong. Okay. Right here, east of the wall. Domino's hurt. Not a big deal. East to the wall, save stating again. I think I know what I ended up doing. No? The guide's just stupid. Got it. Will I see the beginning of a lake? Okay, see the beginning of a lake. Look to the south, you'll see that the path narrows to a two space wide area with the lake bordering the west side of the path. I don't see that yet. Ah, greater demons! Normally I see lesser demons first, but okay! Good thing I just- ah, damn it! Good thing I just saved. Damn it! Very picky, okay. Press to the wall and hug the edge. Until you're past the rocks. Okay. There we go. Okay. Walk south until I reach the beginning of a lake. Oh, I see the beginning of the lake. Okay. Walk along the wall side. Got it. Eddie leveled up again. And learned another worthless spell. <clears throat> hey, look, that spell Domino knew first. Neener, neener, neener. Okay. Walk on the wall side and continue south until you reach the tip of a protruding wall to your south. Okay. Do, 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 do. Walk west past the lake until you're at its western edge. Okay. And follow the path leading north. As it turns west, you will eventually see a small room that branches off to the west. Okay. Ah, other video has been uploaded now. Yay. Ah, uh, demon's pets. Damn, they're annoying. Damn! I should be paying more attention to these battles, apparently. Was I that injured before or something? When in doubt, blow it up! Those things are fast! Ow! Oh, Domino's gonna- er, Edward's gonna groggy himself. Go up! Let's crack more ocarinas, why not? Okay. It's just a cursed item. Okay, Demon Axe. We'll Say path to the southern end of the lake.
southern end of the lake. Got it. Follow the narrow path leading south to find treasure chest canning Thunder Vase. You know, we're actually supposed to get it. Ah, crap. Laurel, I loved up. And learn Sleep 2. That's almost as worthless as Confusion 2. And all other status effect spells. Meh. I'm almost done through... I'm almost through this dungeon as it is, so... At least I figured out how to deal with those enemies easier. I'm leveled up! Okay, Thunder Vaz, got it! Walk north until you just pass the tip of the wall to your east. Oh, yay, a healing herb. Okay. So, now that I'm just past the wall, follow the path until I reach a fork. Ow. Fork. Where was I supposed to go with the fork? Hello, Mr. Annoyings. Miss Annoyings. It annoying. Them annoying. Just annoying. Naturally. More random battles! Ah, now I get to fight a regular demon. Always works that way for some reason for me. Ah! Necromancers could also do void. Good to know. And now you see why I stocked up on resurrection herbs. Yeah. Welp. Time to use the spell for the first time ever, and second time ever. They only come back with half with a half of their LP, which is not that bad, really. And let's go ahead and use a mage potion on Annie. Because she's down to two. Okay. Ah, bats! They're multiplying! <laughs> H. We're up to H. And H is where we stop. Bats are actually really nice for leveling up, so I'm okay with bats. They're not that hard. F, G... It's just they multiply a lot. And if you're very dead, which is the way I normally am when it comes to fighting bats when I play through here, it sucks. You people, I must de beat. Oh, what demon's coming now? Hey, look, it's the first time McWaitka says something. Hooray! Who are you? People, I must defeat. I will defeat. All of you. Defeat. It's that person that kept dropping his keys. <laughs> hey, look! It's also Rabu. The Black Knight will teach you the error of your ways. Where? Where are you? Ah, uh, yeah, um... You. People. I must eat. 
TP. I will TP. All. Of you. Must! Hey look, it's a boss battle! Let's do what we normally do for boss battles. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Something look familiar about this guy, by the way? Also, notice that he only has one attack, and not two like every other boss. Fire three! Have you figured it out yet? Ah, that was fast. Fire three! I should probably heal someone soon. Oh, I'm that low on... Oh well. I guess I don't really need to cast Defend again. Thunder 2! Have you gotten it yet? Haven't figured it out yet, have you? Yeah, you probably have. I'm, I'm just talking because this is the length of the battle. I'm not going to say it until it's obvious, so. He really doesn't like Edward for some reason. I mean, it's, he, Edward's no Samson. Fire three! Oh, damn it! I don't think that's that big of a deal. Uh, it's 12 rounds, okay. Uh, he'll rain us all. Defend, 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 defend. Black Knight does not have very many hit points, by the way. Thunder 2! Good thing I was defending that time. Oh, yeah. Man, my mad defense skills. You know who else had mad defense skills? Somebody that we haven't seen for a while. Pretty good too. Had abilities somewhat similar to McWedka. Wonder where that guy went. Runs away! Yep. If you sit there and defend for 12 rounds and don't actually defeat him, he runs away. BAM! By the way, the official guide never actually mentioned that that was possible. I didn't know about it until the last time I went through the game. If you actually fight him... Um... Well, hold on, let me continue. That is Percy, by the way. That's promoted Percy. McWedka! So, if you actually fight him, Percy dies. Flat out. Can't bring him back. Nothing. He's gone forever. 
This is the last of the hidden characters and somebody that we've actually had before. I tried to save Lord Kevins, but I... I wasn't strong enough. Please forgive me. Nod. So, at this point, I'm going to ask you, the viewers, again, because I won't be playing again for a little bit. Who should I add Percy to my party? Yeah, this entire section I had never seen until the last time I had played. Percy's not that great of a character. I mean, he's better than Samson, but again, that's not hard. The last time I played, I actually replaced Samson with Percy. They occupy similar roles, only Percy, Percy is strictly better than Samson in every way. You can only fight effectively with five of the group. Percy, on the other hand, is really low level at this point, and he still has the crappy equipment that he started the game with. He uses the same set of equipment as McQuedka, for reference, so take a look at the actual stats. That should give you an idea as to how bad he is right now. His strength is, uh, let's see, that would be 47 below McQuedka's. Admittedly, he's 11 levels lower, but you don't get 4 plus 4 strength on level up. His defense is only 6 lower, though. And I've got a ring on, so it's really only... F oh yeah, no, it's six lower. That's right. Um, his speed is decently high, given his level. His luck is still atrocious, as usual, and he has roughly the similar H uh, VP and LP growth as McQuedka. I kicked Annie out just so I can show this comparison. This is the end of the dungeon, so... See, that's what Percy looks like. Looks like the Black Knight without the mask, imagine that. And he doesn't have all of the magic that he had before. Apparently being removes um, mind-controlled zombie means that you get plus one level on all of your magic. Eh, got nothing. Bum, 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 ba, ra, ra, dun, 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 dun. 99! Stop picking on Percy. It's not very good. And I booted Annie out also because she was the highest level of my party, so actually, Edward would have been. I could have booted Edward out. Oh well. I knew I'd end up with like one or two random battles. Damn it! I'm almost out of the freaking dungeon! Oh, I probably should have healed, shouldn't I? Oh well. Defend! Steiner! Thunder! Vind! And attack, because you have no MP. Man, the figures. Uh, Horn, Percy. I need to find a screenshot that won't spoil anything. That's going to be difficult. And I am now going to Quamdar! Which I am going to Quamdar before exiting, because, yeah, I'm going to basically have you all decide whether I should keep Percy in the party and boot somebody out, or if I should just keep this party. I'm leaning toward keeping this part. Or, not the, literally this. I want Annie back, damn it. But. Um, <laughs> believe this is this path over here. Da die, die, necromancer! In fact, just diner. In fact, just destroy everything in your path. Uh, let's see. 
item. I might as well waste all of Percy's magic. Not like there's much to it. Quamdar! We made it to Quamdar! And I'm going to exit. Yep, the mountain village. That's where I sent Annie. Because I could. Okay, so. This is the point where... Well, let me just rest, because I can. So this is the point where you all decide. Am I keeping Percy and tricking somebody out of my party? Am I going to... Or which... Probably requires me to grind some because holy crap, Percy's only level three. And by the way, Percy promoted level twenty. Damn pre-promotes! I'm not even in a Shining Force game and I still have this problem. Ah! Um, to give you it all an idea, the next. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, um, there's a little bit of optional content left. Um, just, I'm at 36 hours, 33 minutes, apparently. Uh, no. Okay. Um, so, I have a little bit of optional content left. There's a couple of treasure chests I was unable to get early on in the game, including the best weapon in the game from McQuedka. Um, beyond that, I have the final dungeon and that's it. So, it's either going to be one or two more videos. Let me know. Do you want me to keep Percy? Yes, no. Okay. Bye! Oh, I probably won't continue tonight. Uh, it'll probably be during the week, next week. Bye!